I'm on a whole nother level, been pulling some strings, you could call me Geppetto I study the streets, I grew up in the ghetto You soft and you sweet and I'm rough and I'm mental You're not on my level, I'm hot as a kettle Slaughter instrumentals while marketing Yo, what's good everybody? You already know what time it is We back with another reaction today Today we got another new artist in the building I know, another one Today is Hobson um, We're doing I Don't Want It So, I ain't heard this song But I've heard a lot of Hobson before Um I've mostly heard about him through listening through Tech 9 and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, man, he's a dope artist. So I'm going to get into this video. Before we start, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on um, so you can stay up to date with all the videos. Uh, we're going to keep dropping these videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from here on out. Um, I might throw in a couple of special days and stuff like that in between, too, man. So let's get into this one. Hobson, I don't want it. Let's get it. This will probably be the last song that I'll come out with for a while. I'm sorry to all my fans. Hold up. You retiring? You, re you gonna retire or something? I always think of Robin Williams, someone we loved and who we saw appealing. He made us all laugh as adults and children. Shit, all the millions that he had. I wonder what were his thoughts and feelings five minutes before the belt had cut his breath off and killed him. Probably something like my thoughts now. What goes oh. up? Oh, damn. Hold up, Hops. Hold up. Robin Williams, R.I.P., uh, committed suicide not too long ago. And um, he's uh, referencing that. And now he's saying uh, his thoughts are feeling the same way as him. Both had a lot of money, unhappy with life. Man, it's suicidal awareness, man. Uh, if you know somebody that's depressed or has anxiety or depression or anything like that, I need somebody to talk to, like, get them the help. Either try to talk to them yourself. If you can't talk to them or they don't want to talk to you, get them some help, man. Ah, uh, yeah, but this is going to be a deep song already off the jump. Damn. We just did a song about suicide, uh, King Iso. It was called Idicious, which was Suicide Backwards. I'll drop a link in the description. You guys can check it out. But let's get back at this. And children, shit, all the millions that he had. We loved him, who we saw appealing. He made us all laugh as adults and children. Shit, all the millions that he had. I wonder what were his thoughts and feelings five minutes before the belt had cut his breath off and killed him. Probably something like my thoughts now. What goes up has gotta fall down. I guess I pour it all out, cause right now, the Reaper's in the room visiting. So if I do leave, at least you know why I did it then. It started way back then when I was a kid at first Niggas bullied me when they saw that I was an introvert I was never cool, had no friends, no chicks would flirt Every school year it's like all my issues were getting worse My whole Damn. life they was calling me corny, stupid I never had a dad who was there to mentor me through it Skateboarding was my escape, it wasn't just for amusement My issues kept reoccurring so I would resort to music I'd vent about the burdens that were sitting in my heart I can relate to that man uh, I make music myself, and what got me into making music was uh, just a way to release, way to vent. It's a great stress relief. It's a great way to vent and uh, get them thoughts out there. Whatever you got to do, and put it in, put it in a song. You know, make something out of it. Issues kept reoccurring, so I would resort to music. I'd vent about the burdens that were sitting in my heart. Been about the way I felt from swimming with the sharks My mom was always working so our bond was stripped and ripped apart Ain't no fucking family memories, ain't no pictures at the park Then I thought Damn, so He said Him and his mom didn't have a strong relationship uh, Cause she was working all the time He ain't got very many family memories That's tough man Like My pops lives like 3,000 miles from me So I don't get to visit him a lot And um I can relate to not being able to see my family too. It's a little different, but I feel like our bond's been not stripped apart because we spend we still spend time together. We'll do vacations and stuff together, but I don't see them very much. I got siblings siblings back, so yeah, man, I can relate to that. The world is about to see hell come, and I'ma live the good life everyone else wants. And in that moment, my tears dried and I felt numb. Then years later, I blew up. The mission was well done. I don't want it no more. I was 
famous, people kissing my ass I knew that I was only here cause it's revenge for my past it's crazy. Went from a loser in school who got the worst grades To being praised for all my verses when I disperse rage I copped a whip, yeah. moved out the ghetto like by haters Bought a brand new house with a bunch of white neighbors Everyone started calling one like five favors And guess what, all of it dealt with spending my paper And yeah. I was nice, I'd give him cash, I'd show sympathy I gave him some, him and so everybody wanted to hit him up wanted to be friends with him just for his paper for his money he uh, finally blew up made some money got rich and now all those fake friends people that were never around to see you grind it out and see you all the hard work you had to put in to get where you got come around and want something from you and you know what I guarantee you Hobson put a lot of work in to get to where he's at right now he did, wasn't just handed to him um, nothing's handed to you in this life. You got to get out there and get it yourself, you know. So all them people that are trying to be moochers off of him, I don't respect that. So I can I can feel that a little bit, man. In her, I'm just lending cheese. Now I'm just looked at like an ATM machine. If I don't give my friends my money, shit, I'm the enemy. I had about a million new best friends that I just met. Some were plotting to build me a deathbed. All because they kept on putting wax songs out that no one's impressed with. So why the jealousy they diss me? You fucking guessed it. <laughs> At least I had my squad, Jaren, Dizzy, Hopper, Swizz. I knew we stick together stuck in this chaotic biz. We had it all figured out and had a lot to give. It was funk volume for life. Who want a problem, bitch? Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we parted ways. 2016, those were some of my darkest days. Ask us all, whose fault was it? Ain't hard to say. But it was due to money and all of our bonds that start to fade. So he's talking about uh, when he left Funk Volume, um, him and his manager got into a beef. He did a song about it. It's called Ill Minor Hobson 8, I think. I think it's Ill Minor Hobson 8. And um, yeah, him and his manager had a had a dispute when they parted ways. So check that song out, Ill Minor Hobson 8. Uh, it's, it's a dope track. Months later, my girl told me she's pregnant. This was something I never expected. Her and I weren't on good terms at the time. Man, it was hectic. And I was scared if she kept this baby, I might regret it. Mainly because her and I had a fucking toxic relationship. Last thing we need is a fucking toddler raising it. Having a baby is great, but not as amazing when you got two parents who always fighting, hollering, breaking shit. Hey. Present day, all my people are gone. Facts. Nobody wants to be raised around that, you know? That's tough, man. That's tough. I'm feeling this song, man. It's deep. This is a deep one, Hobson. It's a deep one, brother. No real friends, just leeches around eating the crumbs. No family bonds, no FB, can't be with my son. No fucking girlfriend, I swear I thought that she was the one. I feel alone, and I struggle to give my fans what they want from me. I'm struggling to build this UP company. I'm begging on my fucking knees like, God, please help me, because I can't fucking breathe. I'm trying to smile, but pain is cutting deep. Show me that I'm more than just a rapper. Show me that this life that I've been working on is meant to be more than just a disaster. I hope this message I'm sending is floating up above instead of focusing on fame. I should have focused on the love. I don't want it no more. I don't want it. Damn that line, man. Instead of focusing on the fame, I should have focused on the love. And uh, to get to where you want to be in life, you got to make choices. And you're going to have a lot of different choices in life. And you're going to, each choice is going to affect your life in a, in a different way. And uh, I made a choice to move cross country for a job. And uh, I, I actually sacrificed a lot of uh, time with my family because of it. And um, yeah, man, it's, uh, you got to make choices in life. And it's, it's, it's tough sometimes. So I can feel that, man. That's a deep line. No more, no more. I don't want it no more. go find myself I hope you all can understand I so there we go man that was a uh, Hobson I don't want it and uh, you know what brother go find yourself man Take some time, 
you've been grinding out hard anyways, man. So go take some time and find yourself. My prayers are with you again. So if you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on, and uh, let me know in the comments what I need to react to next. This song was deep, man. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to drop that link for that uh, King Iso Suicide or Idica song in here. Check that one out. That was a super dope song, too. Man, suicide awareness, man. It's a real thing. Um, a lot of people battle with depression and anxiety. So if you're one of them, get the help you need. Reach out to somebody and uh, let them know you ain't alone. So even the even a famous rapper, you know, have it. Everybody struggles with with their demons. So, all right, man. So until next time, let's get it.